And updating breaking news we first brought you this morning. Fire investigators look for answers after fire breaks out at a manufacturing company near Claremore. 2 News reporter Joe Hankey has been on the scene all morning, joins us live with the details on the investigation. Joe? Well, Brianne, you can see the burned out windows behind me. Flames filled those same windows earlier this morning, and now firefighters continue to work inside, sifting through large piles of debris after two stories inside collapsed in on each other during the fire. Now, a fire alarm went off shortly after 3 this morning, and soon after, Vertigris Fire, along with crews from Claremore, Catoosa, and Rolling Hills responded. Now, this building is owned and operated by Upco, a company that makes steel rods and other products for oil and mining companies. Portions of the building suffered what I'm being told is severe damage. And uh, Mike Schaefer with Vertigris Fire tells me that the two stories inside actually collapsed in on each other during the fire, but no firefighters were injured. But they are remaining inside, sifting through the debris, making sure that every hot spot from the fire is actually out. The main and largest portion of the factory went untouched during this. It was simply some office space and some smaller manufacturing rooms. So the largest portion is still intact here. Investigators are on their way to the factory, I'm told. Once the firefighters have gone through all the debris, those investigators will go inside and start figuring out what in fact caused the fire. UPCO representatives, they tell me that they have not been inside themselves yet. Until that time, they won't have a timetable for when their workers will be able to get back inside there and get back to work themselves. Reporting live in Claremore, Joe Henke, 2 News, works for you. Thank you, Joe. And right now, Tulsa police piecing together what led to an apartment fire that killed two children yesterday. And new at midday, we've learned how that fire started yesterday. 2 News reporter Patricia Santos live at the London Square Apartments near 61st and Lewis with the new developments. Patricia? Well, this morning, Tulsa Fire investigators telling us this was an accidental fire that started with a cooking incident. It started right up there on the second floor of this apartment complex that you're seeing right behind me here. This is also where the children were found. Now, two little girls were killed during that fire. And this morning, police still trying to figure out some answers, still trying to figure out exactly what happened. Firefighters say this is all still under investigation and the fire started around 3 yesterday at the London Square Apartments in South Tulsa. Fire officials tell us there was a working smoke alarm with a working battery inside that unit. Now, the word to people with children this morning is don't leave the stove unattended. Cooking fires, they say, causes about half the injuries they see, especially in young children. You, know, you need to take the precautions. Uh, make sure that you're there at the stove the whole time. Don't get sidetracked. Don't try and watch TV in the other room thinking I'll be back in a couple of minutes. We've all done that and then we've all had something boil over. But, you know, in this case, you know, sometimes bad things really do happen. Now this morning we told you about the confusion with officers trying to reach the mother of those children. An officer here on scene just telling us right now that they have made contact with that mother. We're going to continue to follow this story and bring the very latest on 2 News at 5 and 6 and on KJRH.com. Live in South Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you.